Elizabeth Bond on her wedding day. She was a teacher, is a grandmother, but in her 80s, Alzheimer's set in. Good morning. Good morning, Mummy. How are you this morning? Today, Elizabeth, now 93, is looked after here at St Anne's Nursing Home, run by nuns. She gets NHS funding towards the cost of her care, but her daughter Catherine and her family say they had to fight to find her a place. There are very few care homes in, in the London Borough of Hackney. They were saying, well, we can find you a care home in Chingford or Enfield, we were saying, or Pimlico. We were saying, no, that's not suitable. We've got to find something local. Because when someone is this Ill, old and frail and ill, you don't want to be moving them around all the time because it's not only is it physically a huge haul and strain, it's also mentally a major issue for someone who's confused with Alzheimer's. During the search, Elizabeth got pneumonia and had to spend time in hospital. She recovered quickly, but with no care home for her to move into, she spent seven months in hospital. Then she got into a situation where she was bed blocking. She was in the elderly care unit and there were other women who were clearly in the same position as her. I used to go and visit her and it was like she had a little group of ladies who just stuck there. There is a serious concern about the availability of care homes across London and that's because around 500 have closed in the last decade, this one included. And the situation is particularly stark here in Haringey, which has lost the most number of nursing home beds in the whole country. This is what happened between 2013 and 2015. Green shows the boroughs where the numbers of places are increasing, pink and red where they are falling. But look at how that changes in just 16 months. More boroughs turned pink, the most extreme drop in Haringey, which has lost 23 care homes in the past eight years. We know that the context is that there is less money in the system and providers are receiving less money for the care that they're providing and adult social care is being squeezed. And I think it's almost reaching crisis point in terms of the lack of funding. There are particular factors in London which make it difficult to run care homes. The, the price of land, the price of housing, and secondly, recruit staff to care homes in London. Catherine and her family recognise her mum is one of the lucky ones. Whatever happens in the future, I know that she's been really well looked after. I don't have to worry about her. Now we've got somebody who, who is happy to be alive. But for so many others, the battle to find a place is just getting harder. Alba Battelle, BBC London News.